I'm a baker. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing? But today we are here because we are to bake a cake. Today we'll be baking um which was originally a simple vanilla cake, but I've made a very small twist to it. Instead of using vanilla extract, this time I'll use cocoa. Drinking chocolate or cocoa or whatever you want, you'd like to call it. So um just give you what you need before I begin. So first things first you need flour, all purpose flour, which is specifically for baking, um, white flour, then sugar, 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 I get so fly, which I'll be mixing white sugar and brown sugar. Um, third thing I'll be using is bicarbonate of soda, which is also called baking soda, two eggs. Um, we have margarine, which I'll be melting in a few in the microwave, and uh, drinking chocolate, which I've just told you I'll make a twist of it. I won't use vanilla extract, but I'll be using drinking chocolate, and salt, and milk, 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 yeah. So, before everything, before I start everything, before I mix everything up, I like to have something to measure it in, and I'll be using this glass. And before everything is done, because the cake takes about 40 to 45 minutes to bake, we have to we have to preheat the oven for like about 30 minutes so that it can cook faster, I guess. So yeah. So as I said, we preheat the oven to 175. So this specific oven has been knobbed by 40. So if I make my rough estimate, 175 is right about next to 180. And we have this section where it indicates where the heat comes from, like here, from above and below, from above, from below, and this wavy thing, I don't know, I have no idea about, but we'll be using the one that's heating from above and below. And here is where we'll be setting the timer. This is really cool about this oven, it's cause it gives you exactly the time. So even if you leave the house, it will just shut down and nothing. It won't be extra power absorption. So I'll be preheating the oven to 30 minutes, which is the approximate time I'll be using to do the mixing. Check if the cake is baked. You put the middle with a toothpick. If it's still watery, it's not yet done. So this is not yet done. Before you lift it off from um, make sure the ends are not touching the pan. You should use a knife, something smooth. Just that, and then just let it cool. So after it's cooled down, that's when you can. You just turn over the pan, give it a tap on the back, and then just turn it over, and it's going to be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I know I am not going to be getting lost this much anymore so thank you so much for watching my channel like share and subscribe bye bye